This spring, Oliver Kimkins, CEO and co-founder of the innovation consultancy Adapt or Die Consulting, and Tobias Jest visited the Russian Silicon Valley, Skolkovo, for a two-day design thinking kickoff for the city government of Moscow. So we are here in the center of Skolkovo. We're running through design thinking process, starting from understanding the problems, doing research, doing ideation. Right now, the guys are doing prototyping and preparing presentation. And soon we'll see the presentation. I'm really proud of what they did. They invested a lot of time. I know that Moscow has ambitious goals to become the most innovative city in the world. Design thinking is a new approach for developing innovative ideas. Developed by David Kelly, the founder of the design agency IDEO. Who of you knows what design thinking is? Raise your hand. The concept is based on the conviction that true innovation only takes place when strong multidisciplinary groups decide to create a common culture and then research the interface of differing opinions and perspectives. Trust your team to come up with the right solutions. Challenge and encourage them to envision even more crazy and innovative solutions and trust that they will select the best ones. Give your team members the time and opportunity to stretch their skills and develop mastery. Design thinking, as well as innovation in general, requires the exploration of new spaces and learning of new truths. This doesn't come naturally to all teams. Make learning and exploration a necessity for everybody, including yourself. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together, is an African proverb. Therefore, the whole team participates in creative activities from the beginning of the project. Only when you have a multidisciplinary team in which people with different skill sets and experiences work towards a common goal can you be truly innovative. Курс отличный. Чувство взаимодействия и взаимопомощи, которая возникает в рамках этой работы, это тот опыт, который, безусловно, стоило бы Within 12 hours, nine teams were working on their very concrete challenges developing first prototypes for their problems to kick off a process of how Moscow does not only want to become the most innovative, but also the most user-friendly city on the globe.